Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on how to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. All right, so you're gonna take some notes with me, and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so the first problem we have is 4y times 2y squared plus 3x. All right, and the way you do this is you have to multiply the 4y times the 2y squared, and also the 4y times the 3x, all right? And you have to use the distributive property to do that. So 4y times 2y squ uh, squared is going to be 8y to the third power, plus 4y times 3x will be 12xy. And there it is. All right, now this is a horizontal type of a setup, okay? Now this is the same type of problem, except it's vertical. So again, here's our monomial, 4x cubed, and we're going to multiply that times 5x plus 2x squared. And what you do is you multiply the 4x cubed times the 2x squared, and that will be an 8x to the fifth, and you add to that the 4x cubed times the 5x, which will give us 20x to the fourth power. Now down here we have a little more of a difficult, difficult problem because you have to follow the order of operations and that's key. So over here we write down PEMDAS. Alright, so please excuse my darn Sally. And notice now we have parentheses. We also have a bracket in here. So there's a bracket, looks like a staple and a bracket. And remember, inside the bracket you, you still follow the same order of operations. So here we have our parentheses and we can't simplify anything inside there, right? So we can't combine 3x squared plus 2x. So we're gonna multiply each part of that binomial by 2x. So 2x times 3x squared, and then 2x times 2x. So that's gonna give us 6x cubed plus 4x squared, and that's still in a bracket. Because now we're gonna multiply that times a three. So three times 6x cubed is gonna be 18 x cubed plus 4 times, excuse me, 3 times 4x squared is 12x squared. And there it is. All right. So now that you know how to multiply a polynomial by a monomial, uh, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do with these problems, okay? So here we have three times two x uh, plus four y. So I'm gonna distribute the three to both the two x and also the four y. So that's gonna be a six x plus 12 y, that's that one. All right, now here we have one that's set up uh, vertically. So I'm gonna multiply the negative two times the negative two z. So a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's gonna be four z. And to that, we're gonna add um, negative 2 times 6y, and that will be negative 12y. So negative 12y plus 4z, that's the answer for that one. And then last but not least, we have negative 4 times parentheses 5x squared minus 6y. So again, I'm going to distribute the negative 4 to both parts. So negative 4 times 5x squared is negative 20x squared. And then negative 4 times negative 6y, well, a negative times a negative is a positive, so it would be plus 24y. And there's your answer. All right, how'd you do?